So it's digital marketing, and it's mainly digital marketing executive job descriptions. To me, most of them are the same, and they want some kind of unicorn, because they're asking for, okay, so minimum two years experience, degree level, okay, fine. SEO slash PPC, like they're the same thing, or it's just natural that someone who's good at SEO does PPC as well when they're completely 100% different. Basic HTML knowledge. So, well, they've done some kind of coding. Is, is that a standard thing these days? Communication skills, okay, that's fine, basic. Experience in social media advertising, which offends me because, you know, they're just lumping in Facebook ads with everything else. Knowledge of and experience in the latest digital trends and techniques, marketing, automation, remarketing, SEO, PPC, etc. again. Visual eye for design and creative copywriting skills. These are all things that people specialise in. Creatives, design stuff, brilliant. Wouldn't have them doing any copywriting because they'd be useless at it. Strong time management skills, including the ability to work under pressure to deadlines. Okay, fair That's enough. just copy and paste from every job description ever. Yeah. Uh, ability to respond quickly and efficiently. Copy and paste from every job description <laughs> I'm not quite sure ever. what that means. Uh, strong admin database and web research skills. Does that mean they can use Google? And this is one I always see in these jobs, Adobe Creative Suite. Just as a matter of interest, does it mention salary or not, or does it just say a competitive salary, depending the, on the experience? They always say competitive salary, which means probably 25k. If they're lucky. If they're, oh, if they're lucky, yeah. Now, if, if you found me someone that could do all those to a good level, I'd pay them six figures, because they'd be worth that. But no, no one can. You'll never find anyone like, just like that. I don't know anyone that could do any of those, even to a better than average level. And I think that's a massive problem with the industry because it means you get people who are kind of decent at kind of everything, but they're not actually good at anything. And especially, you know, for people that specialise in things, and I see people doing good work as specialists, you know, and, and for me, with Facebook ads, it kind of offends me a bit because they just lump it in and say, oh, you can, you can do Facebook ads if you know all this other stuff. That's one of the reasons why I specialise in Facebook ads because I didn't want to just get average results for people and wear 10 different hats and be a jack of all trades. But specialising is so much better.